Hey everyone, I'm Zinnia. Hey, I'm Eric. And today we wanted to show you how to make a multiplayer rowing game on the phone. Yeah, let's get started. So we got Octo Studio on an iPad here. We'll go ahead and create a new project. What should we start with? Maybe the character? Yeah. Sprite? Cool. Get the rower sprite. Uh, I'll go to the people category. There are a couple to choose from. I'll maybe pick this one. How about that guy? And then a lot of options, maybe the ocean. I love this ocean. Yeah, Backdrop. I feel like this one works really well. Yeah, it works really well for this game. All right, and then we gotta shrink this. Let's shrink this friend. Wow, I think I nailed it. Yeah, actually. That's like yeah. perfect size. Okay, and then we probably want to give you a character. Yes, get a character for me too. Okay, here's my trick for making sure the two racers are the exact same size as each other. So like- Yeah, we don't have to do that shrinking thing again. Exactly. So I'll tap here and then I'm just gonna tap to duplicate the sprite. And so now this sprite will be the exact same size. Nice. And I'm gonna tap here to replace sprite and I will choose a character for me. And I guess I'll pick this character, uh, move the character down here. Okay, then also we should have a finish line that we're actually like trying of to course. get Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see if I can artistically create this. Circuit. I think I can even pull this up, go for it. Yeah, we got this. Okay, I'm gonna set the color to white and- Turn I'm gonna a rectangle. Rectangle and then, okay. okay. Oh, that's beautiful that. though. <laughs> um, that's a rectangle, if I ever saw one. Hey, that looks great. Right? Nice. I like it. Okay, so we set the scene on the iPad. Now let's make a paddle so we can make the characters move. Yes. Uh, I've got my device here. So I'll go ahead and make a paddle project. Uh, so I'll create a new project. And then for the sprite, let's pick the rower again, yeah? So I'll go to the people sprites. I'll grab my rower friend. Where are you? There you are. And then for this, it doesn't need to be, I think, the, the ocean backdrop. Maybe the white background will make the paddle pop. Yeah, because it's kind of like just your controller. Yeah, and so what I want to do is I want just the paddle to show up for this sprite. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing some parts of my body. Here. <laughs> just get I'm the just rower gonna, out of there. Yeah, I kind of nailed that except for one leftover eyeball. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, all right, great. So I have my paddle. What we want to do is say when we shake our phone, we want our character to move. So when I shake, I'll pull that guy out. And then the magic here is we'll use a beam block. And what's a beam block for folks who don't know? Um, yeah, so a beam will just like send I kind of think of it like an invisible signal between phones. Could be a phone, could be a tablet. Yeah. We have one device send out a signal and then you can make the other device do something when it gets that particular signal. So cool. this will be the signal that shows like you have just rowed and so we'll have Eric's character move when Eric has rowed. Awesome, yeah. So I'll go ahead and add a beam block. I'll go to this category here, uh, the last category and I'll pull out beam and tell you what, I'll do the triangle. Nice. And I think it'd be kind of fun if I shook the phone, the, the paddle kind of went back and forth a little bit. Yeah. So I'll keep it simple and say, let's rotate this way 45 and then rotate that way 45. And if I give it a little little shake, that looks very, very convincing as if I'm rowing. Oh yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, cool. And then how do we then make it so that when that happens, my person moves. Ah, yes, okay. So now going back to the tablet, let's go to the more blocks category. And so, which, which oh, you know what? Yet. You're right, we should go to the Eric sprite. <laughs> yes. uh, that I'm would gonna make it. myself move. Yeah, yeah <laughs> okay. exactly. Um, so, uh, so again, going to the last category, the more blocks category. So, mm. you know, Eric used this block beam and there's also this block wait for beam. Mm. And so you can drag that out. And with this, you can make this you know, sprite wait until it receives mm. that particular beam and then do something. So what do we want it to do when it gets the beam? We could make it move. So I will drag out a move block and just put it under there. Can I, and can I, can I play it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, let me press the play button so that it starts waiting. You have to like, that's one thing that I always forget. You have to <laughs> press play and then it will start to wait. Okay, all right, ready? Three, two, one, row, row. Ah, nice. there it is. There it is. Cool. Um, so perfect. Can I keep rowing? Ah, okay. So yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> if you see, the, the block is no longer glowing because it's it's no longer waiting because this just waits for the beam one time ah. and then it moves, but then it just stops waiting. If you want it to keep listening for the beam over and over again, yeah. you can put it inside a forever loop. So I will drag yes. one of those and put it around all of this. Good. And so now... This I'm increases gonna, my chances of winning. Yeah, drastically. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tap the play button again. I'm not gonna forget that. Uh, oh, I love it. Okay, I love it. nice, nice. You can move your character. Okay, I I think that 50 is a lot to move each time, so you can yeah. adjust it in your game. Maybe let's try 20. Like, okay, let's see that. Let's try that really quick. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. So you kind of got to row more. <laughs> it's a bit yeah. more of a workout. 
uh, to do that. So uh, now let's uh, make it so that uh, player two can move. Yes, uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. we should have someone to compete against. Yeah, I think player two is definitely going to win this. So on my phone, I've got the same paddle sprite, and I'm just going to build the exact same code Eric did, where I'm going to say, you know, when I shake the phone, uh, and then I want to send out a beam, but I want to send out a different beam. Mm. I want to have this be the one that means like player two is rowing, so I will send out the yellow circle, um, and then I'll have it do the same turning animation. So I'll turn that nice. way, and then I'll turn the other way. So let me just try out one paddle. Okay, nice, so it can row. Yeah, it's rotating, but it's not actually moving your character. Yes. So I think I can try to fix this. Yes. Okay, so we're in my sprite here. I think we want to duplicate this to your sprite, right? Yes. And importantly, we want to change it so it's not waiting for my beam, it's waiting for your beam. Yes. And that is a circle? Yeah, yellow circle. Okay. Okay, nice. Cool. Do you wanna do you wanna give it a go? Yeah, See if it try works? it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Well you can go first. Okay, oh yeah, okay. I'll give you a head cool, start. cool. Okay. So two ah! Okay, ah, yes, okay. <laughs> really? This is really a workout. You know, actually, I'm gonna be so strong. <gasps> Okay. Okay. Now, oh wait, one thing. We should layer the finish line behind the character. I can do that really quick. Okay, nice. Well, I'm gonna, I was gonna talk about the finish line. <gasps> yeah. Let's build a thing where whoever hits the finish line wins, right? Okay. Yeah. So, but let's also do the layering thing. So let's go into the finish line sprite. Uh, and then the first thing that happens, let's have it layered. I always, it's a purple category, right? Yeah. Layer. And then move behind everybody, nice. which is that one. Okay. Now, when, one of us touches the finish line. Let's go with me first. So if I touch the finish line first, <laughs> what should happen? Um, we should say, when touches, let's have text on the screen. Okay, let's go, when touching finish line. Mm -hmm. I always, this is the purple one? No, the, no, it's the blue one. <laughs> it's the blue one. Let's say, player one wins? Okay. And then I know, Zoe, you're really good at making text look even better, so maybe you can help me with this. Ooh, yes, okay, so I love the pixel font, so I'm gonna change it to pixel, uh, and I don't know, maybe we could set it to no frame, and I thought the white text looked kind of nice, so. Yeah, it really yeah. pops. Yeah, let's go for it. So, okay, how about you just try and win? Okay. <laughs> I'll let you win. <laughs> okay, all right, let me roll. Yeah. This is, yes. yeah, sorry that I'm can... so not in shape. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, maybe we should have made it work. <laughs> okay, great. So I've just won. Okay, nice. Uh, and now let's make it so player two can win as well. Okay. I will uh, copy, a long press and just copy this script also to player two. Nice. And I'll go over to here. Cool, it's set to when player two touches the finish line, uh, but I want to change the text to <laughs> player two wins. Nice. No mistake about that. Okay, okay. okay ready? Uh, now, okay, let's try. Okay. It's a close one. <laughs> All right, so it's very neck and neck. Yeah, no, actually. All right. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, but, ah but I win. Oh, but you win. How oh, is it I win? Okay, no, wait, wait one second. We have to, okay. we have to change that. So I thought this might happen. We need to get clever here and say, because we both hit the finish line, so that code both ran. It said you won and then I won because of this win touches block. What we want to say is when uh, the first person touches the line, they win. So let's hide the finish line. So if you hit the finish line first, it then disappears. So I have no chance ever of hitting the finish line. And I think we want to be in the finish line sprite, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And we'll say, when touches, when Eric touches the finish line, we want that thing to, to hide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm lazy, so I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'll say, when Zoe touches the finish line, I want it to hide. Yes. And maybe this will make a bit more sense if we try to race really quick. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Hopefully once you see it, it'll make sense. Ready? Okay. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> it's going down. We probably should have done more <laughs> than 20 <laughs> steps. <laughs> ah! Okay. Oh, I won't. No, okay, I won't. Yeah. And then so, even though I got there afterward, it's the It's no longer there. Okay. I'm really out of breath, so maybe it's time we wrap up the tutorial. <laughs> yes, uh, but yeah, there's tons of things you could add to this game, but here is how you could get started making a two-player rowing like race game. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. Can't wait really to see fun. what you make. Yes, and we'll uh, see you in the next video.